Listeners and subscribers, how's it going? Hope all is well. California Carter coming at you with some content. Gonna try to make it okay. <laughs> so I think we're gonna talk about the California wildfires before they even start. Because if you're living in California, if you've been getting any of the news out of California, they have been getting hit with some severe storms. As a matter of fact, some of the storms in California have been so big that uh, Nevada and Arizona have been getting some of its runoff. Okay, we've got snow in Arizona. We even had snow as far south as Tucson. Okay, and that's pretty warm down there. It's pretty warm in uh, Arizona as well. So absolutely cre incredible seeing snow. And if you've seen some of the places in California, you've seen a lot of snow. Okay, and what we're going to be talking about is these California wildfires. So look at what we have here. Scientists are warning of a California megastorm that could cause twice as much damage uh, damage as the next big earthquake. Okay, uh, absolutely incredible. This just goes on to detail some of the uh, weather we've been getting this past month in in California, right, and some of the runoffs. And now there's a new storm heading for uh, California. Okay, they've already been um, drenched in rain. They've got incredible amounts of snow um, in places they don't typically get it. I mean, it's been absolutely crazy. Uh, do you know what this means? Do you know what all this rain, snow, uh, do you know what this means? This means that come this summer, after all this foliage grows in these areas that have been getting soaked, it is going to turn into fuel. You are going to see some of the most devastating wildfires yet again in California. This happens all the time. You know, people are quick to blame direct energy weapons and um, alternative means, you know, advanced tactical lasers for these fires. And while I do believe that that is obviously... Um, the cases in some of these instances, they use their weather manipulation and weather modification to exacerbate, okay, these problems. When they put the desiccant in the air, which absorbs uh, moisture and inhibits the hydrogen bond and, and drastically decreases precipitation, we get these dry conditions, okay? And when they use their uh, weather modifications to increase precipitation uh, earlier in the year, and then they decrease the amount of rain we get throughout the year, all that green... Um, all that foliage, all that greenery we get after these rains in California turns real beautiful, all that dries up and turns into fuel and turns into these devastating, absolutely um, awful wildfires. And then they use their uh, directed energy weapons and advanced tactical lasers to really hone in on the places that they wanted. Okay, that's what happens with these fires. I mean, it's absolutely crazy how it levels houses. In some instances, it won't even touch the trees. Okay, the houses will be gone. Uh, but the trees will still be there. Uh, some of these fires, uh, this is not. This goes well beyond, you know, arsonists. Okay, this goes, uh, well, maybe you know, uh, government level agent arsonist, perhaps. Uh, but this goes well beyond, you know, people starting fires and homeless, you know, people starting fires with their, you know, hibachis and whatnot. Uh, that is that is not the narrative that I'm I'm going to be buying into. But just prepare with all this wet weather. Uh, if we don't see increased rainfall throughout the rest of the year this is just going to turn into fuel and more wildfires and what's even more devastating is that uh insurance companies have been dropping certain individuals in um, some areas because they no longer want to cover them for fires so people who are just paying off their homes or getting their homes paid for uh some of these individuals don't even have uh home insurance to look for when it pertains to fires it's absolutely incredible just wanted to put that out there california carter signing off